time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on a Thursday, August 31st, last Power Hour of the month. Hope everybody's having a good day. In uh, Zero DTE land, booked profits on the AM ratio. Uh, hit 50%, and then my second half got stopped out for profit. Uh, Dick K special hit first profit target, got stopped out for, I think for a little profit overall. Did some discretionary puts. And I have not gotten out of those yet. Got a little downside action coming down. So I still need a little bounce to uh, get out of those. I was pretty close to closing half at 50% ish, but then it kind of fell. So haven't gotten out of any of those yet. For power hour, looks like we're going to get a straddle. And looky where SPX is trading 4514. Got ourselves a little tug of war, Dick K. So I need to buy my longs for tranche one here. All right, got my longs for tranche one. Now, I mean, you know, when I was doing my Bollinger Band analysis, I really thought that the SPX would close up 30 today. So I didn't think it was going to be close. But being as close to this, as it is, the final price of SPX was 45.15.14, settlement price 45.14.87. So I just want to be clear on which number we're using here. Settlement price, right? Okay, because it may be close. <laughs> love it, love it, I love it. All right, so for tranche one, it looks like, well, yeah, I think it's going to be a straddle. We'll see where this thing settles out here in the next minute. Possibly could be a five point strangle. One minute till entry, and it's kind of a tweener on the put side. If we bounce a little bit, it'll be a straddle. Or if we stay right here. All right, going in for a straddle, 45.15 straddle.
filled at 820 on the 4515 straddle for tranche one. It's Thursday. Usually don't trade Thursdays, Dick. Okay. Well, thanks for being here with us. I thought after we dipped our toe in negative territory and then we rallied up, I thought it was all over but the crying for Dick K, but he keeps he keeps coming back. He keeps hanging around, you know. It's kind of like that team that you know you should beat, but they just keep hanging around and hanging around and hanging around. So we've got a TGIF in SPX that's pretty much a scratch at this point, centered. Also got an NDX calendar that turned into a double. It's pretty well centered, down a little bit on that one. MES short strangle, our puts are almost 50%, but not quite. So not rolling those yet. SPX, we've got a duck. That uh, looks like it's got a very little chance of getting back to the duck head, but not quite giving us big profit. So I'm just holding that one. QQQ, we will either close or let expire tomorrow. I mean, if it's right here or higher, just let it expire for that big profit. But if it starts to come down, we may, we may choose to exit before the close. And that's all about all I've got going on on this Thursday. Tomorrow you got out for five bucks. Yeah, maybe I better try again. Tried a couple times earlier. Yeah, looks like it may. Oh, oh no, I, I already have an order in at five. Yeah, I did not get filled. You beat us to the queue, Morrow.
pretty tight range today. Didn't really get too close to the upper expected move or the lower. Just been kind of up and down around uh, up a few points, down a few points. S&P, Russell, and Dow, all slightly red. Dow, the weakest. NASDAQ is green. Notes and bonds, a little bit green. Oil up 2%. Natty gas down about a percent. Grains all slightly lower. Bitcoin down a few percent. SPX peeking its head back above 45.15. I'm back in the money, baby. Dick K, did you figure out what you're shipping me if if I win? Oh, okay. I did not catch that. Let's see what we got here. Let's just bring it down for everyone to see. Smokehouse Market since 1937. All right. I like it. I like where this is going. Maple glazed shrimp. I like it. Oh, man. My mouth's already watering. All right. By the way, if anyone's here that wasn't here yesterday, Dick K and I have a bet today. Dick's bet was he had some squiggly lines on his chart. And he said that if uh, it does that on his chart, then that means the S&P is going to close lower today. I said I didn't believe him. I said we'd close higher. The ending point for SPX was 4514.87. So if it closes higher, Dick K gets to send me something from Smokehouse Market. If it closes below, I get to send Dick K some Jack Stack barbecue from Kansas City.
<laughs> yeah, you're just here for the you're just here for the conversation, the banter. All jokes aside, I do want to say this. I I mean, I, I've traded with all kinds of technical analysis, indicators, stuff like that in the past. And so I, you know, I, I do stand by my comments that I, I just, I don't think there's any edge to them specifically, but I do want to make sure I'm, you're clear on, you know, all the joking between Dick K and I, I, I believe that. I believe that Dick K is a better trader than he thinks he is. I, I believe he would be just as good without them. I believe that he, he uses certain things to give him confidence to get in the trade, but the real magic is how he manages risk and how he manages those trades around those different levels. That is my belief. And that's, you know, I mean, so that, you know, that's how I trade. So I, you know, I don't, for anyone new or doesn't understand that we're joking or I'm joking, just to be clear, I think, uh, I, and I've said this before, but whatever gives you the confidence to take a trade or manage a trade, whether it's a specific level, trend line, Fibonacci, indicate whatever it is, it does, you know, to me, it doesn't really matter. But I, I really think the the magic is how you manage it around that level, not that level specifically. So that's my take. About five minutes before, start looking for tranche two. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't expect everyone to agree, Krish. I think, uh, you know, we all, our, all of our minds work a little bit differently. We all perceive things differently, and so whatever works for you is what you should do. That's exactly right. That's exactly how I think, Elliot. Could not agree more. If we hang around here, it looks like we may be in a, could be a straddle, could be a five point strangle. Oh, hundred percent Andrew K. There, this bet proves nothing <laughs> on either side. Absolutely. This is, this is all for fun.
All right, I got to buy some longs for Trunch. Numero dos. How close those 10 cent puts are to the money. Low premiums. Just looking for closest to three bucks on each side. Could be the 2015s if we hold. A couple minutes still looks like the 4520s, 4515s for tranche two. Similar trade I used to do back in the day was Dick KDE's trend, dollar sign T R I N. So if that closes above 1.5, or especially if it closes above 2, typically that's happening when the market's going down. But I used to, every time that would happen, I would I would buy because we'd a lot of times get a big bounce. We get a bounce. But part of the problem is if you didn't, a lot of times it really fell apart. So kind of going back to my original comments is, it's all about how you play it, how you manage it around those different things. That could have been where I got it. I don't know. I mean, this was probably, I don't know, 10 plus years ago. All right, looks like the 2015s. Filled at 460. 45, 20 calls, 45, 15 puts.
VIX down 2%, down to 13.59. Getting back down to levels that we saw the first part of August into July. Last power hour of August. If I if we can uh, if we can book a nice centered winner here, I will actually be green for power hour in August. I need ten k. Yeah, it's amazing what position size will do to your emotional just awareness, whatever you want to call it. Position sizing is the key to a lot of things in trading. Once I realized that, that was a big aha moment for me in my trading for sure. I was like, really? All this time, it came down to position size. I mean, I would even, I could even trade on Bollinger Bands if I trade small enough. That's how much position size matters. Well, my JSPs are just slightly down now. Just a little up move. We stay here. It looks like we'll get the 2015s again for tranche three. Buy some longs, tranche three.
mind getting up there for some 2520s. We can push a little bit. All right, Marl, take care. Safe climbing. If you're doing so tomorrow. around the 20s and 15s for Trunch too. Twenty fifteens, twenty fifteens, give another forty seconds. It is going to come down to the wire. All right, 20, 20 calls, 15 puts. I'm going to get filled at 390. Filled at four even for tranche three. 45, 20 calls, 45, 15 puts. All right, forty-five fifteen is my uh, my money my money number. Let's make it forty-five fifteen oh one. That's beautiful. Let us hang around forty-five fifteen. Just beautiful. All right, Thursday, no calendars to get into, nothing else to do. What else is going on with you guys?
Beta Junkie, I just shared that link with you in the other channel. On the uh, JSPs. The one I took this afternoon was just a discretionary one, by the way. The selling the puts. The my real ones for the morning. Although I do like uh I checked out a couple of Tim's afternoon selling puts on a strong, strong squeeze. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you really want to know my thoughts? Is that a serious question? <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Big waste of time, but funny. <laughs> The bet was the NASDAQ was going to close higher, right, Dick? Isn't that right? Chartered market technician. What kind of, uh, how much are they trying to scam people for on this? Become a member. Members get a CMT Association weekly smart brief, chapter meetings, live webinars. Annual dues of 325. I, know, I thought it maybe be several thousand to do it.
45-18, got a three-point buffer with 30 minutes to go. Dick K, what's your call for tomorrow? My initial analysis might have been off a little bit. I think we're definitely closing high tomorrow if we don't today. Oh, you're down? I'm up. I think we need to I think we need to make do, make make good on our initial bet. I'm I'm good with a uh, a second wager though. You're on a four three ratio for for power hour. Can't forget about my puts here. Sleep, Mr. SPX, just sleep, sleep, stay asleep. All right, PT, have a good one.
down below 4515. All right, so let's see. I better I better get ready here. Wait. This is in Chesterfield, Missouri. I thought this was in Florida. Oh, interesting. That looks like the shrimp you're talking about. Right, you're in Chesterfield. I got a lot of friends from college who are from St. Louis, Chesterfield area. Dick Kay's in Tampa and sometimes Michigan. So do they ship anything? How about a 2023 gift catalog? Let's check that out. World famous smoked and grilled maple glazed jumbo shrimp. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go with that. I'll take, it, I'll take it easy on Dick K, just one pound. I won't go for the two pound bundle. Oh yeah, where am I at here on my tranche one stop? Got all cut up in my shrimp. All right, got in at 820. About 490 is what I'm looking for on tranche one. It's currently trading at about 530, so getting close. And that was the 15 straddle. So currently trading at 550, looking for 490. I mean, I was I was planning to send a platter for the family because I, I wanted to make sure that you, you know, used it as a 
a life lesson to your kids. Like kids, this is what happens when you use indicators. All right, back to the shrimp. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to go with any barbecue. I mean, St. Louis, they don't know how to do barbecue. That's a Kansas City thing. So you gotta, you gotta take that away. Definitely going with some shrimp. Bubba Gump style. All right, hang around 4518 with 15 and a half minutes to go. Give me price to come down a little bit to reduce my stop. Just a little bit though. Just you know, slightly above 4515 preferred. All right, my puts are my puts are profitable. Uh, I had a, I added it, uh, a $20 trailing stop. So it's currently at 2385. 
yeah, big stop. When I put it on, I think we were right around here. I thought we might dip down to unchanged or go a little red, which we did, and then came back up. So wanted to have a big enough stop that I didn't get pushed out. I got pushed out of my futures, though. Got stopped out of those. Well, when you're that confident in your technical analysis, Chris, you can you can take on that kind of risk. <laughs> if I get a call from the CMT, I'm going to give me your address. Make sure the Jehovah's Witness is on uh, is on staff to come to your door. Try to take off half my puts here. Tranche one, trading at a 540. I need 490. Reduce that down to 790 if that gets there. Four ninety. I saw it tick for a second. Did I not? Four ninety. There it is. All right. Reduce my stop on tranche one. Forty five fifteen. Forty five fifteen is the Tupac. You got it, Otten Rock. Few minutes till I bail.
Just a lot of juice in that 4515 straddle. In my order at 290. Tranche three, how about a buck fifty? Tranche two, how about a buck fifty? Fourteen point eight seven. We're gonna have to stay on here a couple minutes after the close to see the settlement price. One minute till exit. Trunch one at three thirty five. Tranche two, I'll put it a buck seventy five. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not looking good for me. Tranche three. I'll be going down. Four twenty five on tranche three. Three seventy five on tranche two. And a little bounce for tranche one. Not to get a bail. Tranche one, 445. All right, so profitable on all three tranches. Could have been a little better if we were a little higher. I need a, uh, a bounce in the last few minutes, though. The thing that really matters, all the profits I just booked means nothing. What I really need is 45.15 to win this bet. <laughs> Dick called up his boys to give it a last minute push down. Forty five eleven. 
Let's just get this uh, five minute chart front and center here. Yeah, it's not looking good for the good guys. Not looking good. Two and a half minutes. I mean, we've had some decent sized moves in the last few minutes. Two minutes. Can we get a bounce? Can we get a bounce? I need a five point bounce in a minute and 10 seconds. Felt really good about my bet about 12 minutes ago. Going the wrong way. Where are you going? Thirty seconds. Looking like the Bollinger Bands are going to prevail with a five point drop on the day. New pushing towards lows on the day. New lows on the day. All right, Dick K, congratulations. You are the winner, my friend. You are the winner. <laughs> All right, Dick K, what's it going to be? Look at that. Look at those juicy, tender morsels of meat, Dick. I'm a big fan of ribs. Their ribs are good. Their burn ends are amazing. You probably should just get a sampler platter. The Pitmaster brisket, burn ends, and ribs. That looks like a could be a winner. All right. The pitmaster, that might be the one. Baby back ribs, a full slab, sliced beef brisket, burn ends, beans, oh the cheesy corn, you got to have some cheesy corn. Casey original barbecue sauce. Oh, the carrot cake there's amazing too. Yeah, I think this is I think this is what you want. A pit master. Is that good for you, Dick K? Oh yeah, that's what you need. This is what you need. 
All right, done. I will, uh, I'll let you know delivery details or if you're going to be out of town, let me know. Make sure we can uh, arrange the date. All right, guys and gals, take care. Have a good night. See you the first day of September tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>